Good morning, reefers. I'm Daniel, your reef and support buddy, and today we have a problem. Now, this is going to happen to all of you sooner or later, so just be prepared. Equipment malfunction is mandatory when owning a reef tank. I don't think anyone's ever owned one without anything ever breaking. So, right off the bat, it's good to keep extra equipment around. Um, so, my pump is what broke. I'll just show you right here. This thing has been sitting under there forever. This was my Jabo, uh, I think it's like a DC 12,000, but I am going to upgrade this pump to a little bit bigger. Uh, just to show you, I have a threaded connection up top, so it's very easy to take this pump out and to service it, to maintenance it. I haven't touched it in years, it's just been running on its own, but you know, I turn it off every now and then for feed mode and stuff, and it's been a very, very good pump. Like I said, you can't beat the price on those Jabos, but the time has come and that pump did break. And I knew it was going to happen someday, so like you said, it's been a great pump so far. So now I have two options. Um, replace it with the same size pump or go bigger. I'll probably go bigger just because I love the PVC. I love the plumbing I have underneath that goes to each chamber. So it allows me to individually control the flow. Um, it's very easy for big chambers to get stagnant. Water flow. I mean, people love big tanks and they love lots of water. But nobody tells you what happens to that water when it stops moving. So that's something you have to be prepared for. Um, so under here, we do have the threads. That's the water draining, just because like I said, I have that pump. The um, salt mixing pump in there for right now, just turning over some water. It's keeping the tanks heated, otherwise that chamber will heat up and then it's, the water temperature will shut off. And another dangerous thing for those of you who have your water temperature sensor on one side, and if you have like an apex or something and you have a heater in that chamber and you have your pumps turned off, you better think it through seriously. Because if your sensor's there and you turn this pump off and that heater is like one of those titanium heaters with no thermostat, it'll just keep heating and heating. I actually melted a hole right through one of these jugs because I didn't um, turn off the thermostat and do it correctly. And wow, I thought I was just gonna turn it on for a second the titanium heater boiled this water. It literally, I burnt my hand, it melted, it was just crazy. So, like I said, experience. The more we do things, the more we learn. So, I just wanted to talk to you guys about that pump. Plumbing, let you know stuff happens. So this is an easy fix. It's all PVC, it's all threaded. Worst comes to worst, if this thing is just so corroded I can't get this off, because um, these pumps are designed, this is a quick release, you just twist it and it pops right off. Um, but because of the coralline and different things that have settled on here and are growing, it may be a little bit hard to get off. So there you go, guys. That's just a quick update on that. Um, once I replace it, I'll do another update. I know I've been busy for a couple days, haven't had a chance to make a video. But those of you who do subscribe and who watch regularly, I appreciate your support. Thank you for watching. Um, here's one more cool thing. Um, I posted this on the Instagram the other day. I don't know how many of you guys follow us on Instagram. But this is something I just made as a test, and I'm going to use it for an enemy. So I'm going to take this basket, take an anemone, you know, there's one, um, one of those green ones right there. I'll take the bubble or that rose. I'm going to put them in this basket just for fun. Maybe face it towards the current and see, if, see what happens. I don't know. I just made it as a design to hold a coral. So there's that. There's the T5s testing out the Monty frags. Um, the LED par that I wanted to do the video on, I just haven't had time to finish that. But I got a lot to say about the par, about corals, about lighting in general. So I just wanted to kind of do that as a thorough video and not just a quick wipe down. Also on the stinging, I, I may just post a video today on the corals and coral placement and which corals sting, SPS, LPS, softies, all that stuff just to kind of follow up with that polytoxin video I did the other day. So those of you who are dedicated to reefing, um, I hope you subscribe to this channel, hit that bell, hit that like button if you like this video and you want to support us. Um, I will have my Patreon available hopefully at the end of the week. I just set up an account for that so I'm excited to get moving forward. I do need some help just with editing videos and stuff and I need some people in general just to keep the business going and, and grow. So. You guys make this what it is, so I appreciate it. Um, as showing my support, I am going to post 
a whole bunch of frags later today I'm dropping all the prices down to like 25 and under so those of you who want to grab some extra frags um, you know we're gonna have some more stuff come in but I'm literally just um, clearing out some inventory for the time being so there's Bentley and Griffin what's up guys come here puppies they want to go for a walk so I'm gonna go take them but as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Until next time. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And thank you for being part of the Coralus community.